This is the evidence room of the criminal court clerk. Any evidence that has been presented in a trial in Knox County and any of the criminal divisions, we keep it here. From drugs to guns to money, if it's been used in a major crime in Knox County over the past four decades, chances are it's sitting in a room in the city county building. Most people don't even know the room exists and few are allowed inside. Evidence from some of the most high profile cases in Knox County remain preserved inside that room. 10 News reporter Mark Salinger shows us more of the clues hiding inside. Robin and John, this past year, the state of Tennessee executed Billy Ray Eirich and David Earl Miller. Both committed their crimes here in Knox County. The evidence that helped convict them will be preserved forever. Even after death, the evidence lives on. The jury deliberated for little more than an hour with an announcement. Miller would die by the electric chair. Nearly 40 years ago, David Earl Miller was convicted of murdering 23-year-old Lee Standifer. Anything that's been a capital murder case in Knox County, we will have that evidence. We have to keep that evidence forever. Of the more than 20,000 pieces of evidence locked away in the basement of the city county building, many helped solve some of the biggest, most heinous crimes in the history of Knox County. Billy Ray Eirich, David Earl Miller, we have those. Uh, Zoo Man Husky. Uh, the Raynella Leaf case. An envelope with a piece of Billy Ray Irish's hair remains preserved in a bag next to samples of what looked to be his blood. Right, Through numerous appeals and thousands of hours in the courtroom, this evidence pointed to Irish as the man who murdered seven-year-old Paula Dyer. In another bin. This is part of the evidence that we'll keep forever. The final book, David Earl Miller, checked out at the Knox County Public Library before he killed Lee Standifer. There's so much evidence from so many cases in this room, there's no more space left on the shelves. We have over 23,000 items in this room and we're running out of space. And so we're looking now to talk with our judges and the attorney general to see if there's some things that we can take out of the room. Mike Hammond is the criminal court clerk in Knox County. In the past several years, the county invested $80,000 to modernize the evidence room working to place evidence tags into a computer system and move away from an organized chaos approach that once ruled the evidence room. Coming into the room, you would have had boxes that were almost to the ceiling and you couldn't walk because everything was just here. With cases dating back to the 1970s, the rows of moving shelves now sit mostly full. The oldest murder case still preserved, Walter Carruthers from 1980. He was charged with killing 22-year-old Wilhelmina Stahl and attempting to kill her 18-year-old brother, George, in Concord Park. The gun used on that day nearly 40 years ago remains untouched. Carruthers was sentenced to death row, and he died about three or four years ago. So we still have that evidence, and so we'll keep that evidence forever. The amount of evidence in this room will only grow. More clues, more leads, and more chances at solving crimes. A room that has the power to change lives, even if no one knows it exists. Most people don't know that it's here, and it is one of the most interesting rooms because of the evidence that's here. There is one piece of evidence that is no longer held in the evidence room. You may remember Krista Gale Pike, the youngest woman on death row. She kept a piece of her victim's skull, which was until recently kept in the evidence room. It has since been returned to Colleen Slemmer's mother, who asked to keep it. Robin and John.